Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Matthew chapter 21, where Jesus traveled to Jerusalem on the journey that is commonly called the Triumphal Entry, and where Jesus told the religious leaders two parables. When Jesus was traveling with his disciples, they came to a small town called Bethpage. Jesus sent two of his disciples and said, Go into the other village. There you will find a donkey and a colt tied there. Bring them both to me. If anyone questions you about this, tell them that I need them. The man you speak to will let you take both of them. This will fulfill prophecy saying, Daughter of Zion, your king is coming to you on a donkey and a colt. The disciples did what they were instructed to do. The disciples laid their coats on both animals and Jesus rode on them. Most of the crowd spread their coats in the road and cut down palm branches to put down on the ground too. The crowds were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus immediately went to the temple and entered in. Just like he did before, he saw the money changers buying and selling in the temple and he became angry. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the salesmen and yelled, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it into a robber's den. After the money changers left, many blind and lame people came into the temple while Jesus was there and he healed them all. The chief priests came up to Jesus and said, Do you not hear what all the children are saying? They are praising you and worshiping you like you are God himself. Jesus said, Yes, I hear them. I will not make them stop. Have you never read scripture saying, Out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies you have prepared praise for yourself? Then Jesus went back to Bethany to spend the night. In the morning, on the way back to Jerusalem, Jesus was hungry. He saw a fig tree and went up to it. Jesus saw the leaves on the tree, but there were no figs on it. It was not yet time for figs to grow. But that did not matter. Jesus cursed the tree and said, No longer shall there ever be any fruit on you. And the fig tree withered immediately in front of Jesus. Jesus' disciples were amazed. They said, we never saw anything like this before. How did you make the fig tree wither in front of our eyes? Jesus told them, if you have faith and you do not doubt, you can not only do the same thing I just did, you can tell a mountain to remove itself and be thrown into the sea, and it will happen. If you believe, all things you ask for in prayer will be done for you. Jesus went back to the temple. This time, the chief priests and the elders of the people were waiting for him. Right away, they asked Jesus, Who gave you the authority to come in here and throw out the money changers? By what authority are you doing all of these things? Jesus answered them and said, Let's play a little game. If you answer my question, I'll answer your question. You answer mine first. Do you remember John the Baptist? Do you remember his ministry of baptizing people after they repented for their sin? Tell me, did John the Baptist's ministry come from men or did it come from God? The religious leaders talked about this among themselves. They said, if we say it was from God, Jesus will ask us why we did not believe John the Baptist. If we say it was from men or that he made it up on his own, the people will riot and they will hurt us. They think John was a prophet. We are stuck. So they told Jesus, we don't know. Jesus then said, okay, I guess I will not tell you the answer to your questions either then. Jesus continued talking to the leaders. He said, let me tell you two parables. A man had two sons. The man asked the first son and said, 
Son, go work in the vineyard today. The boy said, okay, dad, I will go. But he did not go. The man asked his other son the same thing, and the boy said, no, I will not go. But afterward, felt sorry for that and decided to go to work in the vineyard. Which of the two boys actually did the will of his father? The Pharisee said the second boy did and the first boy did not. Jesus said, you are correct. Prostitutes and sinners will get into heaven before you do. You say you will do the will of the Father, but you do not actually do it. People who know they are sinners say they will not do the will of the Father in heaven, but afterward they repent and ultimately do his will. Jesus continued, here's another parable for you. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard and rented it out to vine growers. When harvest time approached, the landowner sent slaves to get the grapes from the harvest. The wine growers beat some of the slaves and killed others. Again, he sent a group of slaves and the same thing happened. Then the landowner sent his son. He thought, they will surely respect my son. But the vine growers saw the son and said, let's kill him and let's take his inheritance. And they killed the landowner's son. What do you think the landowner will do? The religious leader said, the landowner will gather a massive army and will go to war. He will slaughter the vine growers and will rent the land out to others. Jesus said, you are indeed correct. Have you ever read the scriptures stating the stone that the builders rejected became the chief cornerstone? This came about from the Lord and it is marvelous in our eyes. Listen to me. The kingdom of God will be taken away from you and will be given to a people who will produce fruit. Whoever falls on the cornerstone will be broken to pieces. If the cornerstone falls on anyone, it will pulverize that man to dust. When they all heard Jesus speak these words, they understood that he was speaking directly to them and about them. They became angry and tried to seize Jesus, but they were too afraid of the crowd protecting him. The most important verses in this chapter are Matthew 21 verses 42 through 45, which state, Jesus saith unto them, did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And when the chief priests and Pharisees heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that Jesus accepted the praise of children and of his followers. And when the religious leaders objected, Jesus pointed them to Old Testament prophecies. God wants us to see that Jesus had zeal for the temple and violently overturned the money changers tables when he saw them desecrating the temple by buying and selling inside of it. God wants us to see that it is not enough to say that we want to do his will. We must actually do it. And we can change our mind if we originally rebelled against him. We can repent and begin to do the things he wants us to do. And God wants us to see that Jesus is the cornerstone of God's kingdom. Many people will trip over Jesus and will be ultimately and eternally broken and crushed because they rejected him. Will you be one of the people who reject Jesus Christ and trip over the idea that he is the only way to heaven? Remember, until you breathe your last breath, 
there is time and opportunity to repent and change your mind. Why don't you turn from your sin right now and repent? Why don't you place your faith in Jesus Christ for salvation today? Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus conquered hell and death, and his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you place your faith in Jesus right now? Thanks for watching the Matthew chapter 21 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.